Hey there, Sagittarius. Welcome to your reading for the week of uh, July 19th. Uh, this week we are going to jump right in here, Sagittarius, and we are going to uh, take a look at what is going on for you at this time. I feel like you always get this card, this Miracles card. I, I could be wrong, but I'm pretty sure it's you <laughs> that always gets that card. Uh, so there could be Miracles coming in for you this week. But uh, Sag, make sure to watch your Sun, Moon, and Rising for a full picture of what's going on for you at this time. Also, make sure to only follow the social media accounts that are linked in the description down below. Uh, I will never contact you asking you for money, and I will never ask you uh, to pay for a personal reading. I do not do personal readings, so if someone is doing that, claiming to be me, make sure to report them, uh, because it is not me. But, uh, Sag, let's see here. You have this panther spirit with this miracles card. The panther spirit in this deck is about purging and like releasing something uh, that has maybe been toxic or that has been holding you back for a very long period of time. So some of you could be releasing some energy here. I do feel like there could be some sort of truth coming out. You have the Ace of Swords and the Justice card, which is like the truth when those two cards come up together. This would be a positive truth, good things coming out here. So I do feel like maybe the miracles that you're experiencing are more kind of like talking about a release of toxic energy. Sorry, I need water today. It's finally, it's finally heating up here. It's getting warm. But I feel like there's kind of like a release of toxic energy here. Uh, you have the Ten of Cups, the Five of Swords, or the Five of Wands, sorry and the judgment card. Uh, I feel like there's happiness coming in for you. A ten of cups to me can just be fortune after difficulty. To me, it can just represent like positivity, good things coming in. Uh, you have this yang card here as well, which is kind of like the ace of wands. It's like a energy of a new beginning or starting something new. So I feel like for some of you, it's kind of like there are, you know, more, I wouldn't necessarily necessarily say miracles, but maybe there's more kind of like blessings coming in. Kind of like I get this energy more of like gifts from the universe coming in for you. I feel like you're on a little bit of a treasure hunt with this five of wands. Uh, personally, I love the five of wands. I mean, th you, there are things that I feel like people don't know about the five of wands. So number one is the card of the millionaire in the birth card reading system. Uh, so it's really good card for, it can be a good card for money. Number two, I call it Indiana Jones because it's like a card of, you know, it does represent conflict and competition, but it's like, I, I think something people don't realize about tarot is it's like, a, you know, a card doesn't come up and it says like, oh, you're screwed. Five of wands, conflict, you're screwed, right? And that's not what the card says. The card is like saying, hey, uh, maybe right now you feel like you're screwed, but there's there are things you can do to accomplish something. Five of Wands is a card of going on an adventure. It's like, I call it Indiana Jones because it's a card of going on like a crazy adventure through some sort of temple where there are challenges, there are things that you need to overcome, but ultimately there is treasure at the end of whatever it is that you're going through. So it's like a card of a treasure hunt where it's like, yeah, you're gonna have to go through some things or you already have gone through some things, but you could be finding treasure. And you have the Judgment card as well. So I feel there's like, kind of like you're waking up to your true purpose here. Uh, I do want to clarify this right away, uh, just so I can see. You have the Page of Swords here. Be curious at this time is what the Page of Swords is saying. Uh, you have the Three of Swords here. Some of you definitely could be going through a heartbreak from the past. You have the Page of Wands here. Literally the card of adventure, needing to go on adventure. And you have the Queen of Cups, Divine Counterpart coming in for you here. Some of you, it's like you, there could be an awakening going on, I feel, if, if you are looking for love. It's like you and your person are, uh, for whatever reason, I get like a weird story here where it's like there could be a person who is for you, king and queen of, uh, or king and queen of cups here, where it's like there's a divine counterpart. It's like you're not together, but you're both awakening uh, to each other at this time. Maybe you're, maybe you don't even know who this person is, right? But it's like sometimes I think we, as far as like, soul, you know, soulmates are concerned, it's like maybe we go through our awakening separately and then we come together in the future. And that's kind of like what this is looking like to me if you're looking for true love. Uh, if you're not, then you are just probably awakening to your true purpose. Uh, I like to remind people, Ten of Pentacles, everything you want in life. Ten of Pentacles comes up constantly for everyone. Um, I'm not saying that it's like going to be super easy for people to have everything they want in their life right now. I think this is what we should be working towards because it's like, I feel like the universe is almost like, you know, you ever see uh, that TV show where people are given like an unlimited amount of money to run through a store in like two minutes and collect all the things off the shelf that they could possibly want? 
I feel like that's what's going on right now with the universe. I feel like the universe is like saying, you can literally have everything you want, but you have to build up the momentum first. You have to build up the energy first. So it's kind of like, it's almost like the universe. I, I'm, I'm having a hard time explaining this because I'm not really sure what the hell I'm talking about, number one. But number two, um, what I would say is it's almost like the universe is like giving us a blank slate. You know, it's like the universe is like saying, okay, I want you to like, you know, imagine everything you possibly want. And then the universe is saying, there's a certain energy that goes along with this list of things that you desire to have in your life. It's almost like the universe is giving us time to build up that energy. And then the universe is going to give us those rewards like at some point in the future. So uh, this is why like pretty much all my readings, I keep encouraging people to build up whatever that energy, right? So how do we know like what energy to build up? Well, it's pretty simple. We need to look and find other people who are successful at doing the things that we want, right? If we want a certain level of health, we need to find people who have that level of health and we need to do what they do. Plain, I, I know that sounds ridiculously simple, but it's just that simple. Uh, maybe there's a person who has a certain level of wealth or happiness that you want. Follow what that person does. Do Literally live your life like that person and, and I'm not saying you're like copying them or you're trying to be that person. You're just embracing the energy, right? Uh, maybe there's a certain type of love that y'all want, right? Same thing. Follow people who have that type of love and uh, or step in, try your best to step into that energy. I always say if you really study people, it's like who are successful at anything. And again, I'm not just talking about money here. It's like there are probably, there's probably a set number of things or there's probably certain activities that people do to be successful. You know, uh, successful relationships. Believe it or not, you can have a successful relationship but people who are, who are together forever, they do certain things. They work on keeping the romance alive. They uh, don't criticize each other, right? There, there's like a whole entire list out there that exists. So this is really saying start building up those energies now because the universe is going to give you like that plus some probably in the future. Uh, that's really, I could probably end the reading here because to me, that's what this whole entire reading is saying. You have the yang energy here, definitely a new beginning. I feel like you're feeling very passionate. Good news because again, I feel like you'll be feeling motivated to build these energies that you are kind of creating in your life. Love it. You have the Eight of Swords, the Three of Wands, and the Ace of Pentacles. Definitely new opportunities coming in for you here. The Eight of Swords is a little bit of self-imposed like restriction. I feel like the Eight of Swords with the Ace of Swords over here is more saying like dream big. I feel like it's just saying, you know, remove your limitations as far as your thinking is concerned. Same thing with Three of Wands as well. The other thing is three of wands can say, if there are things that you want to do, uh, just get started. Just do it, right? <laughs> take, take the leap of faith uh, right now. And, you know, get started to the best of your ability is what I would say with the three of wands. I'm, I, I'm, I'm starting my podcast. I'll be releasing a podcast very shortly here all about getting started. So uh, definitely check that out. But what I would say here is the three of wands is saying, do what you can with what you got right now, right? So let's see where this is going. You have the Six of Swords, definitely improvements coming in for you. I feel like you are kind of moving away from certain limitations that you have experienced. You have the Moon, not really sure what to do here. Again, what I would say to you is I feel there are there is no doubt about it that maybe we have a dream and there are a billion limitations that exist that are preventing us from being successful. But it's like, you know, kind of what this reading is saying is like you need to do what you can now. If you want to improve your health, maybe you can only do one push-up. Good. Do that one push-up every single day because before you know it, it'll be two, then three, then four, then five, then six, and then more, right? So I feel like this is saying, you know, be kind, be gentle to yourself. And again, any progress is better than no progress. I Like I always say, if you want to get healthy, one push-up, that's better than nothing, right? So you should not You should be kind to yourself and you should say, wow, good job for doing that one push-up. I, I don't care how small it is, the thing that you do, if it makes your day better than it was yesterday, perfect, right? That's what this whole entire reading is talking about. You have the death card here, major transformation. The two pillars from the moon exist right here They in the sun is coming up between the two pillars that are on the moon right here. Basically saying the moon has been up in your life, fear, uncertainty, and doubt has been existing, and now there is happiness, celebration, and uh, good things coming in for you, a positive transformation. Uh, next, we have the Ten of Pentacles. We talked about this, everything you want in your life. Again, I would encourage you to, you know, maybe literally write a list, write it down, make it happen, right? One of my favorite books of all time. So I would write it down. And I would say, I want these things. And then I would figure out like three things that you could do 
every single day on that list for each item on that list, and I would do them. They could be super small. Again, it could literally be one push-up. It could say I'm going to add a vegetable to my diet, and you could eat carrots or whatever. I don't know, right? Come up with something is what I'm saying. I feel like anything is better than nothing. And again, I feel like what people don't realize, again, is that it's, a, it's almost like we're building up, uh, you know, kind of like energy with the universe or whatever you want to call it. And so I don't really feel that the energy, the universe cares what you're doing. I feel like the universe is more like, are they actually trying to uh, make six, you know, to be more successful? Are they putting in the effort? It's like if you put in the effort, you're get, you're gonna see results, and it doesn't matter what the effort is. So that's what I would do here. Same thing with love as well. It's like if you're wanting love, maybe you you are having a hard time uh, wanting to get out there and date. But I would say get out there and date. Get those free dinners, right, or something get those free drinks, whatever it is that you got to do. Uh, I would get out there uh, with this energy. Same thing in business. It's like, maybe you want to start a business, but maybe you really can't. Uh, I always tell people, it's like, people always say to me, like, I don't have any money to start a business. I'm like, number, number one, you don't really need money in today's day and age to start a business. But it's like, maybe there's something you want to do. And maybe you don't have the money to like officially start it. But you could start small, you could start talking about it on YouTube, whatever it is that you want to start. If you're truly passionate about something, you should be able to share a ton of information about whatever it is that you want to start, right? So that's a great place to start. You could start a blog. You start writing about it. Start uh, networking on LinkedIn in, in, in whatever industry it is. There's like a million things you can do. So that's what I do here. Again, I'm starting a new podcast and I'll try to remember to link it down below. It's going to be, I'm, I'm just going to be sharing all these ideas, everything I got, right? <laughs> so there you go. Uh, you have the Ace of Swords, the King of Cups, and the Justice card. Wow. Uh, I feel like there is balance and probably a victory coming in for you here as well. It's like the scales are tilting in your favor. This energy comes up for everybody, justice. Justice is cause and effect. It's like if you build up energy on one side of the scale, it's gonna tilt in your favor. Again, like I said, and have been saying this whole entire time, uh, you are just building up a, a, you know, kind of like a debt with the universe, but the, the universe owes you, like I said earlier. Or I, I feel like I said this to Aries as well. So it seems to be a fire sign of energy for sure. And, and basically, the universe is going to owe you big. So I feel like you need to do things that move the needle forward with the justice card. You know, justice is cause and effect. I do feel for some of you, you could be this could be success in a legal matter as well. That seems to have come up for you, I'm pretty sure, in the last reading I did for you. And it shows up here as well. Ace of Swords, Justice, Ten of Pentacles. It'd be like a legal victory. So that's kind of a side message. To me, this is a much bigger picture message that's going on here. And... The King of Cups to me is kind of like, you know, things improving. King of Cups is normally sitting in choppy waters and he doesn't really care like what is going on around him. He's going to be successful regardless. So I feel like you are finding success no matter what. I do also feel that there could be love coming in for you. Could be a water sign, could be any sign. I feel like this is this is probably a person who's very focused on Ten of Pentacles. Ten of Pentacles is like building or leaving a legacy. It's like a person who would be, who wants to have a family, but they want bigger than that. They want to build like an empire, you know? So I feel that for some of you uh, with that energy. It's like king, you know, it's like that kingly, you know, en type of energy, like Game of Thrones, right? <laughs> That's probably a terrible example, but uh, you, you catch my drift, I'm sure here, Sagittarius, but uh, Sag, this is one hell of a reading. Damn, uh, I love this. Uh, you have the, yeah, boom, exactly what I'm saying, king energy, king of wands, you showing up in a very strong position. Uh, king of pentacles, you cannot make this stuff up here. Three kings in this last row. And you have the Eight of Cups, walking away from things that no longer serve you. Uh, I do feel like there are temptations. It's kind of funny because like the, and I feel like you need to stay focused as well. It's kind of funny because for the past few weeks, the devil has been showing up quite a bit in readings. I do feel like there is that like low level energy that could be sucking us in. And, the, and remember what I was saying about purging with this panther spirit at the beginning of the reading. Definitely don't focus on things that are going to drag you down. Eight of Cups is an emotional whirlpool. It could say things are going really well or your focus is going in the right direction. Your focus is creating this amazing new reality that we've been talking about this entire time. But the Eight of Cups is like that, you know, little, that one little turd that leaves comments on your videos that piss you off, right? So the Eight of Cups says, don't focus on that. You know, focus on the good stuff. Focus on the six million people that leave you positive comments, right? I'm not, I'm not saying you have a YouTube channel, but I'm just saying there's probably like one thing that bothers you and there's like a million things that make you happy. Focus on that. That's what this reading is saying. Damn, Sagittarius, probably the best reading I've done this week. 
So love it. Um, I think I said the same thing to Aquarius, but I did Aquarius before you. So Aquarius was good, but yours is better. But this is a really good reading. Love it. So damn, uh, Sagittarius, thank you for being here. Really appreciate it. Make sure to watch your sun, moon, and rising for a full picture of what's going on for you at this time. Also, feel free to like and subscribe. Really appreciate the support. But thank you, Sag, and definitely enjoy your week.